How's it going movie fans? Addiction can come in many forms, with the most well known being drugs and alcohol, but it's certainly not limited to those things. As a human condition, it can make for a fascinating theme for filmmakers to explore. Whether telling inspirational stories of a character's fight to overcome addiction, or cautionary tales of how it can lead to complete self-destruction, when told correctly and handled with care, audiences can't help but be drawn in to the struggles being depicted. Here are the Firewall's Top 10 Addiction Movies. At number 10 is Leaving Las Vegas. Nominated for three BAFTAs, four Golden Globes and four Academy Awards, including Best Actor Golden Globe and Academy Award wins for Nicolas Cage, for his performance as Ben Sanderson, an alcoholic Hollywood screenwriter who heads to Las Vegas where he meets Sarah, a prostitute played by Elizabeth Shue. The running time is 111 minutes, and Leaving Las Vegas has the firewall rating of 8.3 out of 10. At number 9 is Pain and Glory. Nominated for two BAFTAs, two Golden Globes and two Academy Awards, for Best International Film and Best Actor nods for Antonio Banderas, for his performance as Salvador Malo, a film director who starts to reflect on his past choices sparked by his declining health and the restoration of one of his films. The running time is 113 minutes, and Pain and Glory has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 8 is Sound of Metal. Winner of Academy Awards and Golden Globes for its sound and editing, with Riz Ahmed receiving BAFTA, Golden Globe and Academy Award nominations for Best Actor for his performance as Ruben, a heavy metal drummer and recovering drug addict who starts to lose his hearing. The running time is only 20 minutes, and Sound of Metal has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 7 is Walk the Line. Winner of two BAFTAs, three Golden Globes and an Academy Award, including Best Actress wins for Reese Witherspoon for a performance as June Carter, who forms a strong bond with Johnny Cash, played by Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix won a Golden Globe for Best Actor for his performance. The running time is 36 minutes, and Walk the Line has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 6 is Traffic. Winner of two BAFTAs, two Golden Globes and four Academy Awards, including for Best Screenplay and Best Supporting Actor wins for Benicio Del Toro, for his performance as Mexican police officer Javier Rodriguez in this crime drama which explores the war on drugs from different perspectives. The running time is 47 minutes, and Traffic has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 5 is Drugstore Cowboy. Directed and co-written by Gus Van Sant, Matt Dillon, Kelly Lynch and Heather Graham star in this crime drama about a group of drug users in the 1970s who rob pharmacies to support their addiction. Their actions attract the attention of the police and the leader of the group fears being caught. The running time is 101 minutes and Drugstore Cowboy has the firewall rating of 8.4. At number 4 is Requiem for a Dream. Directed and co-written by Darren Aronofsky, Ellen Burstyn received Golden Globe and Academy Award nominations for Best Actress for a performance as Sarah Goldfarb, the mother of Harry, both of whom struggle with drug addiction. Marlon Wayans and Jennifer Connelly also star. The running time is 102 minutes, and Requiem for a Dream has the firewall rating of 8.5. At number 3 is Train Spotting. Winner of a BAFTA Award for Best Screenplay, Ewan McGregor, Robert Carlyle, Ewan Bremner and Kelly MacDonald star in this Danny Boyle directed drama about a group of friends in Edinburgh and how their dependency on heroin affects their lives and relationships. The running time is 93 minutes and Train Spotting has the firewall rating of 8.6. At number 2 is The Hustler. Winner of two Academy Awards for its cinematography and art direction, and two BAFTA Awards including for Best Film and a Best Foreign Actor win for Paul Newman, for his performance as Eddie Thurston, an ambitious pool hustler who travels across the country to challenge the longtime champion. The running time is 134 minutes, and The Hustler has the firewall rating of 8.6. At number 1 is The Fighter. Christian Bell and Melissa Leo won Golden Globes and Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress respectively, for their performances in this sports biopic, which also stars Mark Wahlberg and Amy Adams, as it depicts an upcoming boxer's struggle to get out of the shadow of his brother. The running time is 116 minutes, and the fighter has the firewall rating of 8.6. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 Steven Spielberg movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.